Hi friends, I am Prairie Vintage Jewelry. My name is Linda. I'm an energy intuitive reader here on YouTube. I use spirit, my intuition, and the tarot to communicate energies to you, the beautiful viewer. And today we will be taking a look at the person you came here about, the person on your mind, and how they feel about you overall. So it isn't in the moment, it's the overall feeling about you, maybe what your connection has provided this person overall but it is um the overarching feeling or how your person feels about the connection and your interaction with you all right so we have three options to choose from option number one is this beautiful silver skeleton key number two is this brass skeleton key And pile number three is this bronze skeleton key. So feel free to pause the video and think about your person and intuitively you'll be guided to one of these keys. One of them might be your energy. The other one might be your person. Crisscross, crisscross energies as you see fit, but um, if you find that one pile is more about you than it is your person, then you might want to go check out another pile. And the timestamps for your pick will be in the description box below and in the pinned comment. Thank you so much, and I will see you at your pick. Hello, beautiful pile number one. If you pick this silver skeleton key right here, then pile number one, I am super excited to get into your reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. We will be asking Spirit to share with us how the person on your mind feels about you, the connection overall, what's the overall arching feeling that your person has about having known you, about the connection, and it is more the energy that overrides all other energies that your person is feeling. So let's get into this reading. Spirit, can we ask a clear and concise message for beautiful pile number one in regards to the person that came here about and how this person is feeling about pile number one overall? What is their overall feeling? Wow, we have quite a few come out. We have number 64 with healing through rest. We have number 43, Someone Soon. And we have 23 with Labyrinth. All right. Let's pull some more oracles. Thank you very much, pile number three, or pile number one. Pile number one for allowing me to tap into your energy. Might want to go check out pile number three. Haven't recorded it yet. But we have consciousness, and we also have intuition. Wow, these are just falling out. All right. Spirit, clear and concise for beautiful pile number one. How's pile number one feeling overall in this connection about pile number one? How are they feeling? We have Sun Splendor. I am tempted to get one more in this tarot pack or this oracle pack for you. We have Iron. We have the Poet. One more, one more spirit for pile number one. Okay, we'll take the one that revealed itself. We have Anima Mundi, Anima Mundi. All right, and let's pull some tarot. The beautiful pile number one, how's pile number one's person feeling about pile number one overall? What's their overall feeling for pile number one? And the connection we have the three of cups i'm not reading any reversals today but we will pick up any blocks any nuances that we need to we have the hermit we 
We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and I do feel one more. Six of Swords. Okay, beautiful pile number one. I feel like there's this bittersweet type energy here coming from this pile. But I feel like this connection could be one of on again, off again, on again, off again. I also feel like there is um, a lot of inner work being done when you guys are apart. Um, I feel like it's been really tricky in trying to heal or uh, understand yourselves separate from each other. There's this energy here that I'm feeling about you guys being apart and understanding what it is that you guys want for yourselves or whether this connection is something each of you guys want. I feel like there is this spiritual deep knowing. There's also this connection of um, like an energetic cord that I'm feeling between you and your person here. Um, and I'm finding that this is a connection that is almost unbreakable. It is something that is very durable, something that I think a lot of you guys maybe have stopped trying to fight or resist um, what this connection is about. Almost surrendering whatever this is about. Um, there's a layer here of non-understanding. So I feel like there's something here about um, an energy that you're not quite familiar with. You're not quite sure what to make of. You're not quite sure what it all means. I feel like there's a surrendering here. I feel like there's... Uh, through confusion, through trying to find your way and standing strong, I feel like you've been strengthening yourself, but I feel like there's been a lot, a lot kind of thrown at you. I also feel like this has been something that's been very slow going. I feel like you've invested a lot of your energy, a lot of your time, a lot of contemplation, and this is supposed to be about how your person is feeling, but I feel this is more coming through as an energy of what this connection has been about. So maybe this is how your person is feeling about the connection here. I feel like the person who's ever energy I'm picking up here feels like um, this connection is unbreakable or very strong or able to support a lot, but there's also this having to find one's way through a series of challenges that are being thrown at them and trying to move away from difficulties into happiness, into a ten of cups, into enjoying what this potential, this connection could be is kind of the goal. But I feel like it's a very slow going goal. I feel like there's been a lot of reconciliations, like I said, and then a lot of times where you guys might be going through your own individual healing. I feel as though I'm picking up your energy, but like I said, this could be your person's energy um, because that is what we asked about. But I do feel like spirit is wanting to highlight here. The strength of this connection, despite any sort of energy or effort that you're putting in, I feel like there's an energy of a shift here. And just trying to find your way through your own independence, through your own empowerment, through your own happiness. I feel like this is something here that's really highlighting your own strength apart from this connection in order to really identify getting through a period of time that I feel has been fairly challenging with a lot of obstacles, a lot of things coming at you. And I feel like you're trying to really be completely honest and open and in tune with your intuition in regards to whether this 
person is really the right fit for you. But I feel like because it's been very difficult and because there's been a lot of obstacles, although very intense, although very um, deep and spiritual and very connected energetically, I also feel like it's not enough here for you to completely throw your hands up to this connection. I feel like there is this wanting to stay focused and dedicated to what your true Ten of Cups is, your true happiness, and your way to find yourself or through a situation that has been very challenging, has been potentially very hurtful. I feel like you guys are leaning into um, your friends, your what brings you joy, pulling away into your own hermit space when you need to do introspection, when you need to really reflect. And I feel like you guys have been very dedicated in that and investing as much time, as much energy and effort into this and as much time and effort into steering away from anything that you might have at one point invested in that was painful. Um, and I feel you're still trying to find your way, but I feel like every day there's this healingness, there's this... Um, there's this energy about you that's going to find your way to who you are, your true happiness, where you need to invest. And I feel like there's a knowing. There's also a very strong sense here of that. Okay, so interesting that I'm picking this up for how your person is feeling overall. Um, could very well be your person's feeling if this isn't how you're feeling about this connection. So let's take a look if we could see a little bit more about this energy and how they're feeling. All right. So spirit, clear and concise for pile number one, this energy I'm feeling. How are they feeling overall in this connection? The dead end. We'll pull two. The Underworld. Wow. Very similar cards. My Salt. One more. One more Spirit for pile number one. We have spring. Mm, look how beautiful this section here is colors. And then these are the colors represented in the spring. Very beautiful. We have pain. We have no one is yours but you, number 41 or the number 5, and then we'll pull some tarot as well. How's pile number one's person feeling about the connection overall? We have the Knight of Swords, Five of Cups, or sorry, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Won't be surprised if we see the five of cups come out. We have the four of wands, the king of pentacles, and we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. So this energy that I'm picking up, um, again, if it's your energy, then this could very well be your pile. But I feel like there was this um the labyrinth card we saw in the previous spread or that first layer that we pulled cards on is really walking through the underworld i think you were able to explore a side of yourself that you haven't experienced and also a side that made you um see things in a way that maybe you've never been able to see before but i feel like it's left you guys with a um a scar or a deep sense of um 
something you can't really unsee but i think it also led you to a dead end so i feel like the situation here for this energy i'm picking up this person if this is your person feels as though they engaged they were able to release themselves and plunge into an underworld here completely um completely free of any sort of restrictions allowing themselves to really absorb and um connect in this connection with you um and then they reach this dead end point where i feel like there was um nowhere else to go kind of like that labyrinth so i feel like this person had no choice but to really take a really good look at the situation um, that seemed to be a no way out and no win there was more challenges than anything positive and they were able to use their logic rather than maybe their traumas their emotions to really ask themselves where could they focus where could they release themselves in order to have a new beginning here with spring invest in areas that were actually able to be nurtured in order to bring a harvest or something forward and i feel like it's a painful situation for this person because i do feel like this person had to release and had to acknowledge that this situation this connection this relationship wasn't really resulting in any sort of fruit wasn't resulting in anything and had to shift their energy towards what would be fruitful what it is that they wanted to maintain an investment and be um focused with i also feel as though this person gained a sense of empowerment with no one is yours but you um this person recognized that their own strength lied within themselves and they had to find a way to be empowered without someone in their life or somebody supporting them rather than them supporting themselves and identifying that they themselves have the strength to stand on their own and i feel like although this person was very much um focused and moving in that direction because i feel once this person got wise about where they needed to move embrace the logic embrace the truth i feel like it was a five of pentacles type situation where they felt kind of maybe abandoned they felt kind of on their own and alone but i do feel as though there was a sense of understanding that unless they invested and uh, manifested what it is that they needed to do and actually plant the seed for the springtime here that they would be stuck in this five of pentacles so i do feel like this person is wanting a four of wands type energy which is a unity stability coming together celebrations this is a marriage card same with this king of pentacles this could be a father card this is commitment this is something very very solid for the future this is building for future this is stable unwavering strength and um something that is built from the ground up that is unshakable and built on a commitment built on a strength built on some sort of security stability also with the nine of pentacles this is an energy of somebody who is able to stand strong on their own independently same with the king of pentacles i feel like this person had to learn a lesson here of standing on their own building themselves up being independent being strong and unwavering within themselves building a four of wands for themselves although i feel like this is bringing in a partnership for them uh, i feel like this is planting a future for this person here so if you did turn down this person yeah eight of swords in reverse this person's releasing themselves from pain this person's releasing themselves from restriction i feel like this person is building manifesting investing a seed to blossom something here that has to do with a four of wands which is a coming together a unity a marriage a building of something that i feel this person is wanting in their life and i feel like they were working hard to release themselves from 
a mental prison, maybe something they were telling themselves. I feel like having to walk through this underworld, reaching this dead end, there was a realization here. There was an understanding, a lesson that this person had to go through, or at least they went through, in order for themselves to get clear about what they were capable of doing, who they were capable of being, what they were capable of manifesting for themselves. Here we have the Page of Pentacles, because I do feel like this person had to be active in pursuing an opportunity, active in planting a seed. They had to manifest the seed for the future for themselves. They couldn't wait around for something to be planted here in this connection. And because this is about you and your connection, I do feel like this energy was um, not looking to pursue anything here that wasn't fruitful for them. So they had to plant a seed of reality or a seed of manifestation elsewhere rather than this knight of wands which is more of following a passionate desire or something that kind of fizzles out as an inspiration i feel like this person got a little more grounded a little more realistic a little more practical a little more down to earth i do feel like this person was feeling left out in the cold i do feel like this person was feeling down and out but I do feel like this person was maintaining um, an energy here of really sticking true and going after a logic, going after what would be fruitful despite pains, despite maybe feeling like they were held back in some way, that they were capable of standing on their own apart from this connection because this is like the single card. This is somebody who's able to stand on their own. Um, yeah, Ace of Cups, this is finding love for self. This is an overabundance of love, filling one's cup up. Ace of Wands, another Ace, new beginnings, following their passion, their desire, what they really truly want. Six of Cups in reverse. So I do feel like there is nostalgia here. There is a soul recognition. There is a, an energy here of this person having a very difficult time and letting go Maybe even being connected to memories, being connected to the connection with you, um, which I feel is this cause of this pain. But despite that six of cups in reverse, which is the soulmate energy or somebody unable to move on emotionally from a situation or a connection, I do feel like there's a strength here, an understanding, a logic in planting something that would be fruitful for this person's future um, that is more in the material world where they might have not have um, been relying on something that was actually going to grow, something that was actually practical. I do feel like this person's turned a new corner in planting something that is practical, that is more in, in line with what they want to manifest when it comes to their stability, their unity, coming together to build something for the future here um, and something that they're able to nurture and develop all right, so this is what I'm feeling for pile number one. I hope this helped. Um, if this sounded more like your energy, go check out pile number two or three, and I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, gorgeous pile number two. If you picked this brass skeleton key, then pile number two, this is your beautiful reading, and I cannot wait to get into your reading. We have asked Spirit for a clear and concise message here in regards to the person you have come here about, and we're asking... What are their predominant feelings about you and this connection? What's the overarching feeling here? Um, not a temporary feeling, but just how they feel overall about this connection, about knowing you, about you. See what we see. Now, if you tap into your own energy, then you might want to go check out another pile. And a lot of times my piles are completely connected. All right. So we have number 37 with the Rainbow Bridge. We have 56 with body. Spirit clear and concise for beautiful pile number two. And pile number two, thank you so much for allowing me to tap into your beautiful energy, you and your person. I'm so blessed, so grateful. We have caution. We have sweetness. We have Neptune 
and we have yellowing wow i haven't seen that card come out in a long time all right neptune and yellowing okay and we have the storm and one more this one here we have the riddle sorry and let's pull some tarot it's pile number two's person feeling overall for pile number two we have the four of wands we have the three of wands The Three of Swords, not reading any reversals today. We have the Queen of Swords. I am tempted to pull one more here. We have the King of Swords. King and Queen of Swords is the Divine Counterparts. Okay. Uh, I feel like this might be your energy again. I feel like Pile 1 might have been your energy too, or at least the person, the viewer's energy rather than your person's energy. So take what resonates, switch the roles if you have to, and if this sounds more like you, your person could be elsewhere. I do feel like your person feels as though you guys are divine counterparts with the king and, king and queen of swords. I feel like you guys understand each other on an uh, intellectual level. There's this intelligence, there's a respect of understanding that you guys kind of follow the same logic. And I feel like both of you guys aren't bound to having emotional outbursts in a way that makes the other one feel uncomfortable. Although I do feel like your person's energy here is understanding about a heartbreak here. So either they understand that you've suffered a heartbreak here and have been kind of very supportive of a heartbreak um, that you've been experiencing because I feel like there might be a knowing here or that they've been kind of th trying to logically work through a heartbreak or it could be both of you guys have been heartbroken maybe both of you guys have come out of something here um, and a heartbreak does not necessarily have to mean another connection uh, could just mean um, childhood traumas, um, an inability to open up one's heart space, to love, to actually receive love, give love in this connection. I feel like one or both of you guys were in a space unable to give or receive love. And I do feel like this might have been a cause of this connection potentially going, going in an energy of needing help we're in an energy where maybe you guys were able to get to a certain point and then things started to uh, appear like they couldn't go any further or they started to peter out i do feel like with neptune here um I feel tempted to read Neptune. Let's read Neptune and then we'll pick up what we're picking up here energetically from this energy. But we do have Neptune, which is the number nine in this deck. So what do we have spirit for Neptune? We have divinity, mysticism, and seeking. Neptune is the mystic's planet. Its transcendent energy projects towards the heavens. When the Neptune card appears, the seeker archetype is activated and doorways to new dimensions open. A voice whispers from beyond the earthly plane, perhaps calling you to a pilgrimage of new spiritual practice, or you may experience a meditative bliss beyond your wildest dreams. Divinity has arrived. Whether you call it nirvana, samandhi, enlightenment, or just good old serenity, amidst your spiritual awakening, remember that ultimately the work is not about you. The work is about what's bigger than you. Stay grounded in that reality and you're likely to avoid Neptune's pitfalls of narcissism and escapism. History shows us examples of spirituality turned madness. So keep your woo-woo tendencies in balance with a little selfless service. Pick up the spiritual text that you haven't read in a while. Reread it as if for the first time. Forgiveness as medicine. Okay. 
Um. This is an interesting energy that I'm feeling here. Um, I feel like there's a pull here, a pull towards something other than this connection for one of you guys or both of you guys could very well be your person. And this pull towards a greater calling, a spirituality, something here that They're needing to recognize, needing to accept, needing to face. And I feel like this has been very confusing for the other person with the riddle here. I feel like there's been a lot of, um, a lot of things in this connection that don't quite make sense. I feel like there's a lot of things in this connection that don't quite answer the questions. Um... And I feel like this is what's causing the chaos, the upheaval, the storm card here. And because this is overall, I feel like overall there's been an energy of trying to maintain, mend, continue something here that's great. But there's something here that feels more powerful, I feel, or feels more like it's pulling one of you guys in. It could be spirituality. It could be um, a dedication, a commitment to something here. And with body, I do feel like it is in regards to somebody being more focused to what their calling is or what they're meant to learn. Um... So I do feel like there's this, um, energy that I'm feeling that, I mean, maybe it, it's easy to bridge the gap between both of you guys at first or maintain a common understanding so that you guys are able to connect with one another. But I do feel like over time, I feel like the gap or the yeah, the bridge between you guys uh, in order to mend things got uh, wider and wider. The Four of Cups is talking about celebrations, unity, coming together, marriage. Three of Wands is your ships coming in. Sorry, did I say Four of Cups? Four of Wands. Three of Wands is your ships coming in, your future, preparing for future, all the work that you've kind of done would lead to this four of wands. So I feel like one person here might have been expecting or at least working towards or preparing for coming together a unity while another person might have been tending to a broken heart, um, being really focused on their spiritual growth, being um, looking at growing and healing internally allowing themselves to become stronger. But I feel like this caused the connection to yellow or at least go from something very vibrant to slowly becoming something that wasn't as vibrant because I feel like one person here might have got lost in the riddle, might have got lost in trying to sort things out. The gap between both of you guys might have got a little bigger. Um, I think what started maybe as a caution here, although a lot of love I do feel, um, or might have just became too overwhelming or too empowering or too much of a bridge, a gap to have to bridge between both of you guys. All right, so let's pull some more and see if we can see what comes through here because this is kind of a combined energy I'm picking up. All right, spirit, clear and concise for beautiful pile number two. What is the overall feeling for pile number two's person? How are they feeling about pile number two overall? Just 
scry mirror with 65, number 11. 26 with the sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd. 4 and concise spirit for beautiful pile and number two growth hunger all right and got two cards here we have the kiss and I'm gonna pull this one as well we have the lover wow Okay, and then two of these. Her and Concise Spirit for pile number two. And feeling this one, we have the Mystical Sister. One more. We have Against Nature. All right, and then some tarot. Clear and concise for beautiful pile number two spirit, clear and concise message. How's pile number two's person feeling overall about this connection, about this person? The Knight of Cups. Got the Emperor. We have the Five of Swords and the Empress. One more card. Okay, two. We have the King of Swords coming out again and the Queen of Swords coming out again. Interesting. All right. Uh, bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands to take into consideration. So I feel like what's going on here, King and Queen of Swords, Emperor and Empress, there's definitely a divine counterpart here happening. All right. So... What I feel is that between you guys, there's this five of swords and there's this heavy conflict that I feel has been very challenging to overcome. We saw the riddle. There's something here where neither of you guys can win. That's kind of just happening. I feel as though it's an outside circumstance. I don't feel like either of you guys are wanting conflict for each other, but I feel like it is preventing you guys from moving forward like this Knight of Cups. And I do feel like both of you guys might know better. Both of you guys might be in your logical mind in regards to a situation here that is causing a five of swords and keeping you guys kind of apart. I do feel it's external. I do feel like both that divine masculine and divine feminine are understanding each other here. The kiss, the lover, this is very strong. This is um, a very deep, soulful connection here. I feel like... Yeah, this is definitely a spiritual, soulful connection here, but I feel like externally something's happened here where although you guys support each other, there's a need to or an understanding that this person, this energy that I'm picking up feels like maybe now is not the right time or that something is off and they're unable to make things happen here and their desire for growing and again this could be spiritually this could be where whatever that noise was louder than this connection calling them because we did see that um the card that i read there which was um what was it i don't remember which card i read but um there was this understanding, I feel like somebody had here where they were needing to sort through a deeper understanding, a spiritual side, a calling of sorts, almost like they're needing to experience this in order to spiritually grow. There's a desire here to understand this, but I feel like what this caused is the other person to have to release and go elsewhere the sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd yeah i feel like one person here was unable to support the growth and what the other person wanted and needed 
And with the scry mirror, I mean, I feel as though there is a lot of mirroring happening within this connection. Um, let's read the scry mirror and see if we can get some insight into what that's all about. 65. All right. So we have, there is an, there is this idea that to see beyond something only someone with special powers and gifts can achieve. Well, you have those special powers and gifts as well. You will be surprised what will appear to you when you allow yourself to look and listen. I feel like somebody here wasn't going to wait around. I feel like somebody here wasn't... Yeah, I feel like somebody here wandered. Somebody here was wanting to develop themselves. They were hungry for a deep type connection here that I feel they wanted with the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine here, whichever one you're resonating with. But I feel like they were faced with this Five of Swords, which feels like an external situation where no one was winning no one was able to move through i feel like they were beating their heads up against the wall here so there was like going against something here that was more of a yeah something that was more natural something that was feeling like the other person had to experience something had to grow had to heal had to experience something spiritual here there's an understanding here i feel as uh as well of where each other, each of you guys were at for one another. Um, and I feel like there had to be an acceptance of this. I feel like there's also a support here with a mystical sister. So although one person kind of had to steer away, there's also support here with the Knight of Cups, the mystical sister. There's an unconditional love here definitely an unconditional love here with the empress um, but i do feel like somebody had to get empowered somebody had to go and face whatever it is that was calling to them outside of this connection in order to um experience or do something here that the other person had to understand on a logical level but i feel like the person who kind of got left out so to speak um, I feel like they decided to move forward here with this, um, the sheep who wandered and found a different shepherd. I feel like they had to focus on their own growth. They had to focus on what they wanted and find this unconditional love um, in order to receive love. Because I feel like there's something here about a knowing um of what they deserve but i feel like there was maybe a giving of love and one person not receiving love or one person kind of more chasing the other person here so that's what i'm picking up here for pile number two if the sounded not like your connection maybe one and two might be more suited i know this was kind of more of a blend of energies but uh, let me know how this resonated and i will see you guys soon thanks bye Hello, my beautiful pile number three. If you pick this bronze skeleton key, then pile number three, this is your beautiful reading. I cannot wait to get into it. We ask spirit to be clear and concise in regards to the person you came here about and how are they feeling about you overall? What is the overall feeling, the overall arching feeling about you? Not temporary not what they're feeling at the moment but more of the overall feeling about this connection about you what have they learned um and we'll see what spirit has to say now if this sounds more like your energy than your person's then your person could be in a different pile although we were getting kind of interesting mixture for both piles so just take what resonates switch roles if i say you your person just switch whoever seems to fit here I'm just reading energies. Hard to tell whose is who. We have rest and we have ghost. Mm -hmm. We have healing through rest. I believe that one came out in pile number one. Or 64. 
I feel like something's come to an end. Inside looking out. Something divine. Someone feels left out in the cold. Somebody's gaining a better perspective here. Definitely healing happening on both sides. And we have Alchemical Wedding with the number 60. Whoa, and we have a bar photo cards. I'm not going to take any of these, although we do see the oil of vitriol coming out on top here. We'll see if that wants to come out again. Spirit Clear and Concise for pile number three. We have Smoke. number three please spirit we have the heart for 31 and number four and we also have the gem the centero clear and concise for beautiful pile number three we have the ace of pentacles i'm not going to read any reversals we have the ace of wands New beginning, new beginning. What else, spirit? A beautiful pile number three. I'm not going to pull all these. It's too many, spirit. Can we get three more cards here for beautiful pile number three? Clear and concise. Pile number three. We have the eight of swords. We have the king, or sorry, the knight of cups, and one more. We have the page of wands. All right, I saw the queen of swords on the bottom of the deck here, but what do we have? Hmm. I feel like this person feels left out in the cold. And they're trying to heal. Maybe you ghosted this person or this person feels like they're separated from you or you're like a past memory for this person. I feel like you guys have been trying to come together, make things work at some point in time, but there was a lot of um, not knowing or unclear information here. I feel like there was a lot of love, a lot of understanding of what potential this could be i feel like both of you guys really care deeply about each other with the gem and the heart there is this great sense of understanding there is this purity this uh, unconditional love this rarity in this connection um and i know we're picking up what your person is feeling overall but i do gauge here that there's kind of a almost like a mutual energy here. I do feel like there's, um, with the new beginning here, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, beside this Eight of Swords, I feel like there's this need to break out of something that was causing a limitation, causing you guys to come together, causing confusion, causing to be more difficult to come together. I feel like somebody was always feeling either left out or unable to fully be let into this connection. But I feel like there is a separation or a no contact or an ending here. And I feel like maybe you guys haven't been communicating. I feel like there is healing. And I do feel like there is somebody here who wants to communicate. I do feel like it's your person. And with the Knight of Cups, I feel like this person wants to come forward with a cup of love. I feel like this person wants to communicate their feelings. I feel like this person is understanding where, what they're really wanting, what they're inspired to move towards, and what it is that they love. I feel like there's an, an acceptance and an understanding of this being a very... I wanted to almost say one of a kind, but a very pure type connection here and a need to start over with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and grounding something here. 
there was a recognition, I feel, like um, there's been limitations or somebody held back, but I don't fully feel as though whoever was held back understands their Eight of Swords yet or understands why they were held back or has done any work to release themselves from this Eight of Swords. So let's take a look at another layer here. All right, so spirit, clear and concise here for beautiful pile number three, the person that came here about, how are they feeling about pile number three? We have the heart eater with the number 13 or the number four. I feel like there definitely was an ending, something's transforming, something needed to get stabilized, something's becoming more stable, somebody hurt somebody here, somebody broke someone's heart. 75, the weight of truth. Yeah, there was a need to be honest, face the truth. Number 12 or the number three, working together. There's a truth here about somebody not working together in order to stabilize the connection. They weren't facing the truth that maybe they weren't cooperating, weren't collaborating, weren't coming together, weren't as involved, weren't as engaged. There is a transformation here. There's a frustration, so I feel like the other person might have been, and it could be you, very frustrated with this person. Um, no matter what they did, it didn't seem to quite work. I feel like square peg, round hole, wasn't quite working. Um, yeah, frustration, and maybe that was the cause of a no contact or minimal contact with your person here, or a separation or an ending. Faith, well, that's a good card to see here because I do feel like one of you guys, and I feel like it's your person, might have some faith in um, this connection turning out or moving forward or something getting resolved or healing here. There is this faith. Um, let's see what we have. We have the vow. That's a commitment. That's a dedication right beside the faith. Interesting, the box. Limitation being kind of kept back here. Mortification, that's the death card. Yeah, we were seeing 13. That is the death number. Um, I'll pull one more actually. Mortification. I feel like there had to be an ending somewhere here to maybe allow things to progress. The Great Serpent with the Ouroboros. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Let's pull some tarot and see what more we see. The Ten of Pentacles. What more? Spirit for pile number three. Pile number three. How's the person for pile number three feeling? this connection overall we have the nine of cups two of wands which you saw on the bottom of the deck we have the fool i'm not reading any reversals and we also have the eight of wands okay so if you guys are in a period of no contact i do see there being I feel this is your person wanting communication, wanting to start over here. I feel like your person isn't letting go. There is a commitment here from your person to you. Um, although I feel like your person has potentially been very guarded or in a state of maybe difficult to work with or difficult to get to. Um, and I feel like there was this thing about... Um, Whatever it was that you were investing might have ended up in um, them sabotaging or something not turning out the way that it should have been turning out. But I feel like there is definitely an ending here. Ten of Pentacles is talking about long-term stability. I feel like this might have been something that's been ongoing for quite some time as well. And... The fact that I only see nine of cups instead of a ten of cups, maybe somebody was being a little selfish 
a little self-fulfilling emotionally. And I feel like now there's this focus on looking at the future or making a choice for the future from going from a more selfish place of self-fulfilling emotions to taking a leap of faith towards something different here. Um, but the fact that we have the Ten of Pentacles in the middle, I feel like there's an emphasis on stability, uh, building something for the future, dedication, commitment, stability. So there's something about um, distance here and communication, having a breakthrough. But I feel like your person might be looking at taking a leap of faith and communicating what that looks like. Because I feel like your person has been chasing their own tail or maybe not really knowing what's good for them here. Um, there definitely was a death of something here, but I feel like there's an unwavering commitment, an unwavering dedication, an unwavering promise to make things happen here uh, that your person has towards this connection. So let's take a look at a little bit more and see what this is all about for you guys. Beautiful pile number three. All right, so... Spirit for pile number three. Can we take a little bit more and take a look at what's pile number three's person feeling overall about pile number three? What's their overall feeling about pile number three and this connection? Thank you so much. This one. We have the golden rose for this one as well. And we have resin. Okay. Mm. Space. Ideation. Something that is never truly yours with 27 or the number 9. And Labyrinth with 23 or the number 5. Okay. Uh, Shapeshifter. Interesting. The dead end. Let's pull some tarot. I'm almost feeling a different energy than I was feeling at the beginning of this reader reading. Seven of Swords. Yeah, almost like somebody was wearing a false mask or something. Or pretending to be something. Or the star. The Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, there's something uh, almost unreal or um, with the ideation, the Golden Rose. This is like something that you can't quite get to, something that is never truly yours. So I feel like somebody was trying to, yeah, in Labyrinth, trying to get to making this connection something that it was never really um, with resin, this is like a memory or something frozen in time. I feel like maybe they were hung up on something that they wanted to create here or, uh, an experience that they had either in or outside of this connection. Excuse me, that, um, they were trying to make happen here, but I feel they reached a dead end. And they're trying to make something out of nothing. So where maybe uh, this didn't exist. This person was uh, putting you on a pedestal. Um, and I feel like there was some sort of deception here with what they hoped would happen or what they wanted to happen. Some desire here that they were hanging on to in order to make a four of wands situation. Um, but they got kind of got lost in this whole thing. So I feel like this was never really what this connection was. That's really heavy. 
Um, yeah, and this person was maybe bending over backwards or trying to make things happen and they couldn't quite pierce to the goodness of whatever they were trying to get to or the goodness they thought was at the core of who you are or who it was they wanted you to be. I feel like this person reached a dead end. There is this frozen in time type um, energy here with resin or a memory of a past or something they were hanging on to an ideation of who you could be or what you could be out of nothing that you've really shown them or out of something that you never really were anyways. Um, yeah, and I feel they definitely got lost in that. So this is the Seven of Swords. This is the card of deception or somebody kind of doing something in a way to get what they want uh, with the star. This is about someone's hopes, wishes, and distant dreams. Queen of Wands is manifesting something someone wants and attraction desires for Pentacles is holding back and holding on too tightly or being guarded. I feel like they were holding on too tightly to an idea of who you could be or what you were or the idea of coming together here and building this Four of Wands. And it's something they kind of got lost in and hit a dead end. I do feel like pulling some more cards here because I don't feel like this is the end of what that resulted in here. So let's see if we can pull some more. Although I only pulled two layers here for the other piles. What does this mean, Spirit? How is pile number two feeling about... Sorry, pile number three feeling about... Pile number three's person. Can we get some overall cards about where this is going, how this ended? What does this mean? Thank you very much. We have inside looking out again with 38. The number 11. Something destined here. 27. Something that is never truly yours coming out yet again. Maybe that's where you guys are at. Number nine. That's Hermit. Somebody's going inwards, taking a look at the truth of a situation. They're feeling left out. So they're having to go inwards. They're having to take time out, a break in this connection. Abundance is the Ten of Pentacles. Consciousness, awareness, again, taking time out to get in tune with the reality of something here. Raven's Head. Okay, that's a new one. I'll take the one that revealed itself, which is Chaos. Hmm. Nasa Confusa. All right. 51. Or the number six, which is the Lovers. The Choice. The Thread. The Thread. And the mirror. The thread, the mirror. And some tarot. All right, Queen of Cups, not reading reversals, Eight of Swords. Wow, lots of cards. I'll take the one that revealed themselves. We have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. I do feel like leaving that one in reverse. One more. One more. And the Seven of Pentacles. I'm feeling this one as well. The Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah. Um, your person. And this could be you. Okay, I do feel like whoever this Queen of Cups is might have been an in denial here with the High Priestess in reverse, might have not been acknowledging what their inner self's been telling them, their dreams, their intuition in regards to what the truth of a situation might have been here, ascending to a higher calling. I feel like they were limited, but I also feel like they might have been ignoring some sort of truth. And the truth is following... Um, Following where it is the spirit was trying to lead them because I feel like they were trying to make something happen here in a situation that wasn't 
quite what it appeared to be with the high priestess in reverse. The mirror talks about um, a reflection, somebody potentially even mirroring us. But I mean, the mirror could mean seeing some parts of ourselves that we're not really ready to see that's being mirrored to us from other people and situations. With the thread, I feel like, yeah, there's definitely um, a connection here that I feel allowed this person to really go within and take a look at themselves. Um, but I feel like what they were pretending or imagining or thinking was this abundance. I feel like there had to be an acceptance, a realization with this consciousness, with this queen of cups, that they were maybe um, telling themselves some untruths. And needing to really embrace the truth here and invest themselves in a truth rather than chasing a situation here that I feel wasn't really the truth of, a, of the matter. Maybe they're painting this to be something that it wasn't like we saw putting you potentially on a pedestal saying this was something that was really not what it was, something that is never truly yours inside looking out and then this chaos card i feel like um this is what caused a lot of chaos because their expectations was one thing and i guess their realizations were another but i do feel like an energy here is this person is shifting towards their greater consciousness and ascending towards investing in the truth and following what it is they're being called to follow releasing themselves from anywhere where they might have been held back or trapped in a situation that was causing some sort of chaos here for them. Um, they've been really called to look at themselves deeply with the mirror. This Queen of Cups is someone very compassionate, um, very beautiful, emotional, um, able to tap into emotions. And I feel like this person has been asked to really guide themselves towards what is right, be aware of where their abundance is and where their abundance is not. And I feel like potentially this connection is not where their abundance is and I feel like they are kind of looking from a place of coulda woulda shoulda or um in hindsight thinking oh I can kind of see it now so I do feel like this person's getting clear I feel like this person is now has a different understanding of what this means I do feel like this person was tied to you for a reason in order to reflect back to them something here that was freeing them to ascend themselves into following what their calling is here but i do feel like with this raven's head there's almost a no stopping this person from getting to where they need to get to so that they're very invested here in planting the truth now um where they might have been really held back or lying to themselves or seeing something in a way that wasn't the truth because maybe it was too painful for them to acknowledge that maybe you were never really theirs or this connection was never something that was going to manifest. All right. So if this is your energy, your person could be elsewhere. Um, let me know how this resonates for you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. Thanks.